This interview is an all-time favorite. When we turn the calendar to the first of the new year, we all wonder, what did Donna Esslinger's Onion calendar say? And she joins us again. Donna, welcome back to KFTO Radio. Thank you. It's nice to have you. Okay, so Donna, let's for someone who has never heard your segment with us and we has hasn't heard about the Onion calendar, let's take it back a little bit and explain what the Onion calendar is. Well, my husband, as he was growing up, had a neighbor lady that used to do this all the time, and it's I think it's probably a German tradition. Uh, and again, there's some Germans that have not heard of it, but. Anyway, she used to do that, and my husband was intrigued by this whole scenario. So he, after we were married, of course, well, we should do this, so as what to whatever he remembered, and that's what we've been doing for many years. I don't even remember the first time when we started doing this. But it's you cut an onion in half, you separate the section, so you'll have two halves of an onion. You pull out the thin membrane, and out of one half of the onion, you separate six of those little cups of the onion. And the other half of the onion is for the other half of the year, which would be July through December. And you pull out the membrane, and you add a teaspoon of salt to each one of them. And on New Year's Day, you check out and see whether there is moisture in them or not. And, of course, you place in a teaspoon of salt into each one of those cups. And that's, of course, where the moisture comes from then in the onion. And it's amazing that each one of them really does have sort of a different representation of precipitation. Now, did you go back over your records to see how accurate last year's onion calendar was? Yes, I had them right. You know, I looked, compared them. And, you know, um, they vary. They compare. It's very comparable to last year. I mean, a few of them may have a little bit more moisture, but there is one that intrigues me because last year in June, it was totally dry. Again, this year, it's the same thing. Wow. And now I'm, I'm okay, why is it just June? Um, it was, you know, according to last year, they all had some moisture in them. Some of them, you know, the salt will draw the moisture out, but there'll be a pool around this pile of salt. And some of them, the salt is totally dissolved, so it's all one slushy liquid in there. But in some of those cups, you will still have a little mound of salt in the middle and the moisture pools around it. So it's like just a puddle of moisture. But the month of June last year was dry, and this year again, dry did not have any moisture. When you tilt that cup over, the salt is still dry and grainy. Wow. And um, what were the wettest months for 2024, according to the Onion calendar? Okay, the ones that had the most, I would have to say, was, okay, January was wetter than February and March. Um, April didn't have a lot. It was very a little moisture, but not near to what the other ones had. Um, July and August showed the most moisture. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's hope for that, I guess. I mean, yeah. it sounds like <laughs> we we need it after if we're going to have another r- dry yeah. June. If June is dry, I mean, you got to have moisture in order to get the grass growing and the yeah. hay crops and the grains. And, I mean, sure, if you get moisture April and May, you'll have some to start with. But if you have a dry month of June and a lot of heat or, you know, no right. moisture at all, it usually affects your grains and your hay and and pastures. So then July and August showed more moisture. Uh, September was close to those two months. So um, October and November, again, they were moisture, but not as much as the previous ones. Donna Esslinger is with us. um, From Your address is Ashley, North Dakota, right? Are you in Ashley? Um, And this onion is from your garden or a local garden? no. I cannot grow onions. Mine would be like walnuts. I've never had luck growing any. So I look, I go to the store and I look for a nice big round one because that way you have more uniform size cups. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Good point. Um, And then somebody has said too, well, is it from Texas? Is it from where? I don't know where they get their onions from, but I have always bought a nice large onion. So wherever it is, 
whether that's weather for them there or for <laughs> us. Uh, we don't know. I guess we have to kind of go with Mother Nature when that happens. Yeah, I love it. October and November, you said both had moisture around the salt, but not all dissolved. Right. So not much moisture. And then December did have a little bit of moisture, but not as it much did, as it the did previous. did again, yes. It yeah. had moisture, too. I mean, the, the only one that was totally dry was the month of June. The June. rest all had some that were pooled around the mound. and uh, But like I said, June... It was just dry and grainy like we put it in. Interesting. <laughs> well, Donna, it's just always fun to follow the onion calendar. If you had to give it a percentage or a rating for how it did last year, what what would you give it? How did well, it I do? Would, I would say it was 85 to 90% accurate. I love that. Okay, so it could be this year as well. We sure hope so. I, we hope we get moisture. I mean, every yeah. farmer that's out there... And then I've even have other people that are not farmers. They want to know because they do gardens and flowers and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And maybe it's just a curiosity, but it's an onion. So I guess the rest <laughs> will have to wait and see what happens. Well, we love it. Uh, Donna, thanks for the... Is the onion calendar still sitting out on your calendar or have you thrown no, it away by no. now? We, we okay. toss it. We okay. toss it. After I've charted everything as to what it was and how it's looking... We toss it out, and hopefully some birds will be happy with it out there. (laughs) I love it. Donna Esslinger from Ashley, North Dakota. The Onion Calendar. We'll post it again at kfgo.com along with this podcast. Thank you so much, as always, for joining us and telling us what the— Oh, someone also wants to know, is it a white or a yellow onion? It looks like a white onion to me. It was a yellow one that I Oh, it was a yellow. I used the yellow one, yes. Yeah. Okay, yellow onion. So in case anybody wants to try the tradition here, we could start— comparing notes at the beginning absolutely. of the year. I love yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Donna, thank thanks you for so having much. me. Thank, thank you. you for having me. Have a great year. Thank you. Bye-bye.